I kind of feel that this is part of God's will for me to be involved as a spiritual care companion. So welcome everyone. I hope that you Catholic Health know. Services recognizes that the person is not just uh, their gallbladder or, uh, or their appendix. They are holistic and to heal physically, uh, emotionally, spiritually, uh, a spiritual care companion does aid that. The Spiritual Care Companion Program trains people of all faiths to be listening, caring, attentive presence. The program uh, in general, uh, overall, is just an, an awesome opportunity to learn uh, basic fundamental things um, like listening, uh, empathizing, and um, the presence, just being there in silence are a couple of the things that have really uh, stuck out for me uh, during this course. I liked the idea because we were looking at ordinary people and we were looking at training them. People who had life experiences probably extremely similar to the patients in the bed and therefore could identify with that person in the bed or with their family members standing by the bedside about that particular kind of experience. The service of, the, of these companions, it seems the strength of their listening capacity allows for a release and I think the, the ability of, for this gentleman, at least he demonstrated to me an ability to, to listen. And uh, I think listening is an extremely important and very difficult activity. He provided that opportunity. It demonstrated also for me that his work was a, a form of worship and service to, to other people. And that was very important to me. We're here to continue the mission of the church to be part of um, something that's much larger than ourselves. When we look at people who are undergoing physical um, is it surgeries or medical procedures, um, sometimes they have deep-rooted uh, spiritual needs. Uh, sometimes that even lead to those physical conditions. And so it's important for me to have a skill set, um, as many skills as necessary and as possible, to be able to kind of help and identify um, with some of the spiritual issues that might be going on. Hello, Edna. Hi, how are you today? I really enjoy being able to relate to some of the patients. I myself had been a patient in this hospital a few years back, so I can understand some of the fears they have, you know, when are we going to be able to leave, and uh, concerns about their treatment and what it's going to entail. The companions are getting so much out of this program. There are relationships building up here. They're becoming friends. And that's more than just a visit to find out, you know, where this person may be at. It's the friendships that are forming, the bonds. They're able to tell these people things they can't tell anyone else. He was present fully and there was no one else in the room but he and I and that's how I felt and that was so warming and endearing uh, and rare in my life and I think in most people's life that uh, that it touched me deeply. Sicknesses uh, can sometimes be really lonely and everybody could use someone to listen to and I think that that's what this program has been about trying to help us to be in a better place to listen and uh, share in the dignity of life and the dignity of death and, and help people grapple with um, sickness. They always have a smile on their face and they're ready to help any patient or family member. They have such a level of generosity and uh, self-giving and real interest in helping the patients in, in a deeper way, helping them spiritually, helping them uh, in ways that really supports and complements what the pastoral care department does. Well, Catholic Health Services is very committed to our mission of continuing the healing ministry of Jesus, the healing ministry of the church. And each staff person is a part of continuing that mission and that ministry also. We are a Catholic hospital, and that our mission to heal, to offer hope, and to witness to our compassionate God who dwells among us right here within the hospital, right here in the midst of all the crises that we encounter each and every day. God is right here in the mess of life. And I, I think our, that's what our patients appreciate knowing that um, they're being cared for, but yet they're in an atmosphere of love.